guys, it's Charlotte, and this is my new room, by the way. I'm so excited. This is my new place I'm staying in. It's fun. Okay, but anyways, currently in isolation because of the virus in Vancouver. So, today's video is actually going to be on how to make your own homemade hand sanitizer. Yay! It's actually quite an easy recipe, and you can make it more jelly or more liquidy, depending on how you like it, but basically this video is going to show you how to make it. Thankfully, I had all the ingredients before all of the ingredients were like sold out or very hard to get here in Canada. But yeah, this video is gonna be how to make it and I also found out how to make aloe vera liquid into gel, a way that I found myself how to do it. So I'll share that in this video as well. I had already made it previously to this video so I'm just gonna have like a talking over and there won't be video of that. But yeah, it'll also tell you how to make aloe vera juice into aloe vera gel. So this one still, I probably should have added a bit more of the ingredient that made it more jelly. I could even do that at this point if I wanted to. But yeah, it works great. Let me show you how it looks actually. Here's the, there we go, sanitize. Even though I literally like just wash my hands. Whatever. Okay guys, bye. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay safe out there, okay? I love you guys, and I'll see you later. And it smells really nice too. Bye! So here's the final product of my homemade aloe vera gel that I made out of aloe vera juice. And the secret ingredient to make this jelly, because it used to be just like, literally, yeah, a juice, very liquidy, is xanthan gum. So for 500 milliliters of aloe vera juice, put two teaspoons or more of xanthan gum and this will really help thicken it up and make sure you whisk it really well to get any kind of clumps out and this is the xanthan gum that i used and it worked great And just to further show its thickness, here you can see me just putting it back into its glass bottle after I've thickened it. And yeah, that's what it looks like before it would just run through. Alrighty, but on to the hand sanitizer recipe. Here are all of the ingredients that we are going to be using today. First up is the aloe vera gel and this is one I got from Walmart like years ago but I'm not sure if there was going to be enough so I also have my homemade one right there. And the amount we are going to use of the aloe vera gel is one quarter of a cup. So put one quarter of a cup of the aloe vera gel into there and this way the recipe that I'm making here but you can make it different if you want. You can do one third of a cup but this one we are making at 75% alcohol. So that means it definitely will desanitize very well but it will be a bit more liquidy this way. I will put both recipe amounts in the description of this video but yes for this one it's going to be 75% alcohol but you can do one that is 66% alcohol and that one works great as well but is a bit more jelly. Next is the main ingredient, which is the isopropyl alcohol. I am so thankful that I stocked up on this before we got the big shortage of it. I got it at a refill store here in Vancouver, and I have more than enough for this recipe. So yes, fill this up three quarters of a cup. Isopropyl alcohol is also known as 99% alcohol because it's pure alcohol. Once you've measured it, pour the alcohol into your stainless steel bowl. Now just to add a couple more things and qualities to the aloe vera gel hand sanitizer, we are going to use castor oil and we are going to use two teaspoons of this. This will just help make it so that the alcohol isn't as hard and drying on your hands. It will give you a bit of moisture. The aloe vera gel does as well, but yeah, adding this just helps that little bit extra. And this honestly was a really cheap 
castor oil I got from Walmart, but I need to use it up, so. <laughs> then to scent the hand sanitizer to make it smell like the classic one you buy in the store, and to make it more antiviral and antibacterial, we are going to first use 13 drops of thyme oil. Thyme oil is very antibacterial and antiviral. Then we're using 13 drops of grapefruit oil, which smells really nice and helps cancel out the thyme scent. Then here's a refill I had of peppermint oil, and this makes it, yeah, just smell very clean. So we are going to use 14 drops of this. Then you can just whisk this all together, and there you have your aloe vera gel homemade hand sanitizer. This one, as I said, is 75% alcohol based so it definitely is above the standard of being 60% but if you want it more jelly and not as liquidy you can do one third of a cup aloe vera gel and two thirds of a cup alcohol which still makes it 66% alcohol so yes I actually did add some extra aloe vera gel into this just to make it more jelly there it is hey guys so hope you enjoyed today's video let me know of what you think of the recipe and um, yeah, hopefully this can help some of you guys. It's really important to have, especially when you're on the go or using public transit, holding onto a transit thing, it's like an anxiety attack. So you can just put the, put the aloe vera hand sunny on after and it makes it all better. But yeah, hope you guys have a great time in isolation and quarantine. Stay safe though, guys. Stay safe. Um, focus on your health. And yeah, I'm going to be putting up a granola bar recipe too. So that will be fun for you guys. This is something, it's a no-bake granola bar recipe that you can make just at home. So I'm going to be putting that up soon too. But I love you guys and I'll see you next video. Bye!